Do you beat your wife? Does a wife beat her husband? Do you cheat on your husband? Do you cheat on your wife? Are you living in sin and, and think that no one knows it? God looks on the heart. Amen. It's not the preacher. It's not the uh, brother. It's the word. You're begotten by the word. You're kept by the word. Yes. And that Amen. God puts the beam of light upon you and God reveals your sin. Yes. You may fool your uh, people sometimes, but you can't fool them all the time because people are looking at your life. You're the only thing that people are reading in the world. If Christ is in you, you're a new creature. The old things you once loved, you don't love no more. And if you're still dabbling in sin, you need another trip, uh, brother, uh, down on your knees before God and say, God, forgive me. Remember when David had committed adultery, uh, brother, he went to God and he repented of that adultery that he committed. Yeah. Brother, he didn't let it go. The Bible said, uh, remember wherein Revelation says, remember wherein thou hast fallen and return quickly and do thy first works or I'll come and withdraw thy candlestick out of its place. He'll move that candlestick. He said, often I'll reprove you. I'll turn you over to a hardness of heart and a reptivate mind, letting you believe a lie and be damned. God will not continue to reprove you. He said, my spirit will not always strive with man. Amen. He speaks about striving, striving. There's a way that seemeth right. There's many ways that leads uh, to different ways of life, but there's a right way. I remember when uh, Moses had went up there on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights and they offered a uh, God had, had wrote out with the finger of his honey his hand, he had wrote out the commandments of God. Uh, brother, the commandments that we're to live by today. And you know, he said, get yourself down from here, Moses. The people has committed a great sin. Way up in the thousands of people were swallowed up because of their sins. A lot of those people, if they had a had the right leadership if they could have had the right leadership they would have uh, been able to live but they uh, Moses their leader was up in the mountain to receive the commandments and we many times we're on our own many times we have to abide in the in the spirit we just have to abide in the spirit and, and uh, uh, praise God endure endure the hardship of the day the Bible said if you live godly you'll suffer persecution People will persecute you. People talk about you. People say, oh man, but there's a joy. There's a joy to this thing. There's a joy beyond speakable and full of glory. Here he finds, he says, uh, he bear witness. He, he said, I came into my own, my own received me not. But to as many as received me, to them gave me power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believed on no more than his name. Amen. Believing on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Amen. Romans uh, 6 uh, says there, he said, how long should we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid if we should continue any longer in sin. God don't want you to go on in sin. You've got to get rid of it. The, the spotlight is on you. God's light is on, on you. You ever feel the? You ever feel that God is is speaking to you, to you directly? If this word today doesn't speak to you directly, there's something wrong with you. Every one of us today, even the Christians, we need uh, we need a little bundle of fodder. Uh, every once in a while, we need a, a few bundles of fodder. We we need to be fed. We need to be fed by the word of the Lord. The Bible said uh, there. Uh, brother, he said, come unto me, all ye heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. So there's a rest of the Lord. He said, uh, praise the Lord. He said, when I was in the world, I was the light of the world. Now that I go away, you're the light of the world. He said, let your light so shine before man. There are a lot of people today, they, they're not living a, a, a straight life before man. A lot of people, uh, you say, well, you can't, you can't go to heaven by looking at other folk. You've got you to look at God. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Remember when Jesus came walking, uh, praise the Lord, in the fourth watch of the night, and brother, they found him there on the, in the ship, and brother, uh, he said, uh, uh, Peter said, Lord, as if thou be the Christ, bid me to come to you. He yes. said, come on, Peter. Mm -hmm. Get out of that ship. Come on. Yes. 
Now it took a lot of faith Amen. for a man to step down in the ocean, yes. for a man to step down in the lake, or assuming that was a lake there. It took a lot of faith to get Peter out of that ship. Let me tell you something. Peter got down out of that ship and was walking to Christ. But you know what happened? There was a wave that came between him. Anything that we let come between us and God, we start sinking. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus. Amen. Keep our eyes on the Lord. May God bless you. We're going to ask the singers to come and get a song. If there's anybody here that's lost, anybody here backslidden, wrong, cold, not enjoying their salvation, something between you and God, get rid of it. You say, Brother Howard, I'm ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Uh, that's what he said. He said, my little born ones, he said, these things are right in you that you sin not. But if you sin, we have an advocate. With Jesus Christ arises, who is just to forgive you? Not only you, but the sin of the whole world. If you've got something between you and God, get rid of it. Don't hold it. Don't take it home with you. Don't give it to your neighbor. Let your light shine. Let us stand, if you will. Pray with me just a moment. won't keep you too long. Somebody watching. Somebody there watching. Somebody here today. Somebody here today. You used to know the Lord. Maybe you, you got out of favor with God like David did. He said, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Yeah. 